There's no question that Apple's iPhone has been a game-changing device. I'm Chen Anak with CBS News Tech Talk, and I'm here with CNET Senior Editor Scott Stein to talk about some of the biggest upgrades over the years. So Scott, yes. let's talk about this. I know, I've had them all, so I, I feel like I've got intimate experience with every one of them, and we'll go through them all and talk about the difference. Let's start with the original iPhone. It was such a big deal when it came out. Right here, yeah, this is my original iPhone, and it came out in 2007. At the time, no one had seen really anything like this. It was futuristic. Yeah. Uh, that touch screen, the capacitive touch, usually to pull out a stylus to do that stuff before. We show up Google Maps on this thing. That was that you could show that off at a cafe, you could show that off at a bar. And, and it was crazy expensive. Uh, it was crazy expensive. Five ninety nine for eight gigabytes, and uh, that really made people hold back. But a lot of people still did the math and felt that they wanted to get that as their go to iPod. But still, for a good year, this was a, a coveted item more than an owned item. It's officially a game changer. The iPhone 3G, it was a huge update. It was yes. such a big deal because it was redesigned, it got a new body, um, it was a more affordable because it was starting to be subsidized. Yes, and that was a big deal. That, that was the phone that people could start to buy. It was actually the first one with GPS. Strangely, the first one did not have GPS, but really that faster 3G data speed and the fact that the App Store launched uh, simultaneously with it open up a world of games and apps and, and, and really a whole economy there yeah. that changed the way the iPhone was perceived and, and really filled it out as a device. So after that came the iPhone 3GS and that maybe was a little bit disappointing for people because they were expecting another new design <laughs> and they wanted a new look every year. And the 3GS looked just like the 3G but under the hood this was one of the biggest speed bumps uh, from phone to phone. It was really lightning quick and that was what everybody uh, talked about when they used it. Plus it allowed video recording. So now you can not just use it as a camera, which is a little better camera there, but you also have the video recording, so pocket camcorder, uh, that just you know added a nice extra feature. Right, and then came my favorite, my personal favorite, the iPhone 4. Such a big deal when it came out. It had retina display, it had a front-facing camera, and FaceTime. I was trying to FaceTime everybody that I could. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that, and that actually took a, a technology that was out there. I mean, we were doing web chat on our, on our computers, and, and there were phones that, that had some form of video chat, but it made it so easy to use, and it, and it, it really defined the space for a lot of people that it felt kind of magical. And that's a, it was a really nice design, added, added some nice new features to a, an already really fast 3GS and, and just took it to a new dimension. And then there was the iPhone 4S. Yes, which was maybe again a bit disappointing because people have been waiting a long time for a new iPhone. Cancel golf today. It's off your calendar. Really the big changes here had to do with software that will pay off in the future. You look at iCloud and Siri uh, between voice activated services and Apple competing with Google and others for, for backup and storing all of your music in the cloud. And you know, that brings us to the newest iPhone. There was so much anticipation leading up to this thing. And we found out that a lot of the rumors ended up being true. There's now a four inch screen, which is about half an inch larger than the previous models. And it's the first time Apple has updated the screen size. There's now 4G LTE connectivity. And now you can FaceTime in HD. And the accessories got a major update too. The new lightning connector is tiny now. And the iconic earbuds have a whole new design and now they're called EarPods. So that's a brief rundown of the iPhone family tree over five years and who knows what's gonna happen over those next five years <laughs> or 10 years. But uh, it's changed a lot since the beginning. Stick with us at cbsnews.com for full coverage.